right now. Come on, Million VC. Let's go, Million VC. Come on, Million VC. I need that, Michael. I need... Ten Gator. I can't even get mad at Ten Gatorade, man. That's the extra bar one too. The extra bar bars, nigga. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good afternoon, not there, 2K Land, man. Oh, is it good morning? It is whatever it is, man. It's probably good morning right now. But by the time this video gets uploaded, because I got uh, I have the the trashiest internet that the law allows. Uh, because I have Spectrum, uh, the upload is probably going to take about, about 45 minutes instead of like how I used to have AT&T where the upload would take two seconds. So it is what it is, but we're going to keep rocking with it, man, because we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Great show for y'all and all of that, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video or comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Hopefully we get this right. Get your breeze in the tease, tease in the breeze. We rocking with breeze tease, man. We got that bag up game. You know, we got some stuff up there. Hey, this is one of my favorite ones. Hey, like Bruce Lee said, we must all be like water and run through the holes. Hey, man, that's what we got to do, man. Hey, <laughs> we got to do, man. So, hey, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff. We got the Bear Jordan. You can do your own, uh, you can do your own a uh, specific one, like you can just get something and upload it, like your image there, stuff like that. And also if you make t-shirts, your, your wife make t-shirts, you wanna get in the start making t-shirts, man. Look, we got the Gang Sheet Builder, man. The Gang Sheet Builder is dope. You can do single joints. Uh, we're gonna drop, we're gonna change the prices up up here, but you know, uh, it's better that this is your best value right here. But man, you go in here, build a Gang Sheet, you upload your image, you can fit it on here, do whatever you want to, boom, boom, bow. And uh, you'll get in about a day or two. And guess what? When you get in in that day or two, all you gotta do is, um, we print them right here. And when you get in in a day or two, all you gotta do is put it on your heat press. You can use the easy press. She can use anything. 280 degrees, press it for 15 seconds, peel it off, hit it again with the Teflon sheet, and you are good to go, man. But anyway, that's all we got for y'all. Trameless plug, check the site out. We got GOAT status, we got Eat Sleep 2K repeat, a lot of stuff over there, man. So make sure y'all check that out, man. But first up, man, we got that boy Ticino, AKA Fracino, because they fried my boy, man. I don't know why they did this to him, but let's see what's up. Talk to him, Ty! Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> No! <laughs> 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 bro, why my man look like That's he been... they fucked up my nose that bad, bro. bro. he said they messed up his nose. He looked like he been boxing for like 10 years or something, bro. And they just done broke it over and over in the same spot, man. I love stuff like this, man, because we need levity in the 2K community. You can't be taking yourself too seriously, man, because in, in this community, things are gonna happen. People change up, everything changes. And you know, one of the main things that changes is 2K changes up on you and does something like this, where they get this dude right here, a million VC, but they ain't gonna give me nothing, man. How you get a million VC? I need that million VC. I done spent millions on VC. I done bought millions of VC, man. They always get a VC to somebody. Like, like why, why for, why law, why for me law? Why can't I have that right there, man? Matter of fact, we gonna go straight to here right here. Let's see. What they gonna give me this i'm doing this right now now look this is my date i'm doing the daily spin right now i want y'all to see that this is live look i'm hitting it right boom pause we're gonna we're gonna do the daily spin and let's see what they're gonna give us right now come on million vc let's go million vc come on million vc i need that michael i need 10 gator i can't even get mad at 10 gatorade man that's the extra bar one too the extra bar bars nigga. that's what i get extra bars with this so i can't even get mad at that that's that's low-key a dub not quite 10 million vc i mean a, a million vc but hey low-key a dub man like look we got to keep the levity going in the 2k community man because a lot of people are upset with the game they don't like how it's shaking out they think that the game is broken and i think that we just need to learn man i do understand that the passing lanes are broken and my boy dime work is showing us irrefutable evidence that the passing lanes are overpowered bro nerfed the passing lanes now i will tell you this this does not happen as often as happens as here but this is something that i express concern about when the game when, when they show how the passing lanes work just because they want look at look at that man look at the ground that he's allowed to come just because the game would like for him to get this interception don't warp him into position 
in an unrealistic manner because at the time, okay, pass fake. Let's see if he's already in the lane. He's not in the lane, not in the lane, not in the lane. He is nowhere near him. He should be able to pass the ball back here toward this line. But, but, but because the game says in order to get it here, I have to go through this point and there's a person standing there. It's going to extrapolate that. I mean, it is a bad pass. It is a bad pass. He has no business throwing this pass from here to here because he is in the middle. But I would rather the game just have this guy jump straight up instead of warping into position to give him the interception. Like, like it's a bad pass and it does deserve to get stolen. It's just, I don't think that we have an issue with, with what's going on. I think that we have more of an issue with the, with the way that the game expresses it. And, and like I said, looking at it in real time, let's see what happens. Yeah, it was never a good pass. Like even looking at it in real time, I don't know how he thought that it was a good pass and why my man didn't rap because he was there. Two people are in between you and your destination. I just would have rather it not giving him a super warp speed boost to that right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section because I think that we can all agree that it was a bad pass, right? Like I think that that's what people are probably saying um, in, in there. Let me see what my man said. I mean, say steals are perfect. Steals are perfect. Maybe I like buff to own ball steals, but lane steals, they can't, they cannot touch own ball steals because that will make it to, to where when somebody blitzes you, you have to pass it and then steals are going to get stolen. So I think that everything is in a good place. Uh, and so he says, but lane steals are fine. Baited the pass. He got the, he got the pickoff ball. He got the pickoff ball guy has to move or, or, or oh, off ball guy has to move or the ball handler has to fake pass. I agree with that right there. Um, and, he, and he's like this right here. Like I get what Dime is saying, bro. I get what he's saying. I truly do. But on that one, it's the unrealistic warp that is the issue, not the actual steal because it was never an open pass. It's just the way that the game expressed that that was going to be a steal that we don't agree with. And I think that I think that that's the case all the time is that the game expresses it in a way that we feel like is unrealistic rather than just expressing it in a way that our minds can understand. But from a computer standpoint, the game understood that that was not an open pass. And so it was going to make that be an interception regardless of how it had to express it. I wish he would have expressed it by just jumping up. God, look at the guns, man. Brute gonna say I'm on steroids, but it ain't all natty, baby. But, um, but I wish he would have expressed it in a different way, but I do, I do agree with that. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, that boy BP the God said something that I said the first in the beginning, man. I said, hey man, this joint might be dead inside of a month, man. If 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 it stay like this, because I understand how people act about these games, they're not gonna be rocking with it, man. And BP the God says, 2K25 is horrible, but has but has potential to be good. Servers are horrible. They have fixed that. Shooting inconsistent. Dgram helps but still bad shooting is going to be inconsistent man i think they want to just want us to shoot uh realistic percentages and they don't want us to be able to just rely on the three-point shot i think that that's what we are with that paint defense no paint defense you're absolutely right about that in a lot of situations there is no paint defense maybe we're just playing it wrong but bro we played some dudes yesterday all they did was just get under the rim and just go straight up man like if you're running into somebody yeah but uh we're gonna get some more bads we're gonna see about that uh but gambit and i were down there we ended up winning the game because we could shoot threes and we were getting stops and rebounds once we made the right adjustments but it was tough so i can i can see that post score sag off purposely uh i don't know why would they do that because I'm, I'm hitting you in the head if you you sag off me i'm shooting the dribble is not bad just needs like a two a 22 speed boost just like uh 24 they don't want it to be the same game they never wanted it to be in the game we just found it and i said if, if it's not fixed the game is dead inside of a month and that's something that i was saying i was like bro because people are not going to play this everybody says they want to sweat everybody says they want to play comp everybody says they want to be comp but people want to be comp without playing comp we want to pub stump and be comp that's what it is and i'm not talking about bp and i'm just saying like a lot of people just don't want to play comp as we can see by them talking about the skill-based matchmaking. He says, hey, I can't shoot BP, help me out. He said, only person that can help you is the 2K guy. Bro, that, did he just tell him that Jesus? Hey, can't nobody help you now, but Jesus, my brother. I like BP though, man, because he's still playing the game. He's still labbing, he's still working. He's still doing his thing. But I think he's not saying it's gonna be dead for him. He's just saying that for the overwhelming majority, and that's the same thing I was saying, a lot of people don't like challenges, bro. A lot of people want things to be easy, and that's what they want. They just want it to be easy, and 
and that's all. They don't want to put in any work. They don't want to practice. Just like in Brute video, he said, the dude said, I, I go to work. I don't have time to practice to be good at the game. So why would you think you should be good at the game then? If you're not practicing, you should not be as good as somebody who's playing it 24 hours a day. But I digress. Up next, we got my boy Quavo Quavo affirming what I said about that. He says, hey, I told y'all casual gaming is done. I hit everyone on the head before I... <laughs> I hit everything on the head before the game came out. Y'all didn't listen to me. And he says, I don't understand how you think that a simulation basketball game should have casual PV PVP gaming. This isn't an arcade basketball game, but a simulation one. And a lot of people, like I said, the casual gaming is done because a lot of people are calling for things that they don't truly understand. They say, we want a high skill gap. We want this, we want that, we want this, we want that. When they give these things to you, you don't realize that that may not be what you want. And he said, hey, how do you, uh, we got up next. We said, hey, how do y'all feel about NBA 2K Lab saying that there's no pure green window on high risk, uh, on high risk or whatever. And it's just like, it is what it is. And I think they were showing that there is no pure green window uh, i had a video here that that kind of displayed that that there is no pure green window and i think was this it nope nope mm, ah proof that there's no pure green window because a lot of people had uh had issues with this man and it was just like this is the proof that there's no proof pure green window my man is shooting in here and uh he shot it says excellent and from a hot spot he shoots excellent and misses so it just is what it is. Now, we don't know what mode he's shooting on. He may be shooting on high risk, high reward. He may not be shooting on high risk, high reward. I don't know. Uh, I know that if you're not shooting on high, if you're shooting on high risk, high reward, all your greens are supposed to go in. But if you're shooting on the other ones are uh, normal, then some of your greens may not go in. And that, and that brings us to the question that Zar says, honest question, does anyone who is not shooting as well as they would like not believe that, the, that they will shoot better within two more weeks of repetition and gameplay or does one week determine your shooting ceiling for the year i think that i just needed to get better i was working i've been grinding i've been trying to get better i've been practicing me and gambit been in the lab we've been coming up with different jump shots different scenarios we finding faster trying faster jump shots with low uh jump shot height slower jump shots with higher jump shot height all that good stuff man and one of the things that i found out is i prefer uh like a a, a c plus to d minus uh d c plus to d plus for my shot speed uh for my height and then i, I prefer a, a faster jump shot my boy tj he says i'm not gonna lie i never complained about shooting this year yet but what i could say is uh, i used i used my same exact jump shot as last year and i know for a fact that time that my timing i'm timing my shot right and i still miss I have I have the whole court of hot spots, a 93-3 ball, all my badges and lethals. Something is wrong. And he says, hey, have you tried using rhythm shooter? Now we'll tell you this. If you use rhythm shooter, you're gonna be a lot, you, you will be a lot better, but you're not gonna be perfect because it's gonna throw one of them off. You're going to time it perfectly, it's still gonna throw one of them off. It's not like last year. That's the first problem. I feel you on that. Dude say it's RNG, no true green window. It's it's impossible to green consistently shaking my head. The stuff's dang near random just get close to your green window and pray for <laughs> pray for the best meanwhile randoms are hitting whites like crazy so hey if randoms in white like crazy and we mad at that maybe we need to change it to the, to the normal so we can hit them all white scat packs Girl, get up out of there on them boys hey that boy hanky the tanky said shooting is fine in mbq 2k25 to be honest they just need to remove the rng after you make two shots in a row you shouldn't be penalized after making multiple shots in a row by being given a smaller random green window and he's absolutely right about that because i noticed that last night i would shoot like 65 percent or something like that the next couple of shots i would miss and it would automatically bring me down to like like 50 or so i'm cool with it though man we understand what's going on you got to get on that rim and get you a monkey donk or something like that i don't know but i i don't know if i like it or i don't i'm just going to adapt to it and get used to it and uh just see what it is that boy Badgy pluggy aka wadgy pluggy says man after almost a week nba 2k 25 I still don't think shooting needs a buff. I agree for, I agree with you in casual modes. I think that if, if I reset my stats right now, I'd shoot about 50 to 60% on guard. At right now, I'm at 48.9%. But I also shoot dumb stuff when we're up a lot. Me and Gambit shot a lot of stupid stuff just trying to see what we could shoot with the shot stick. So that happens. He said, I made a lock last night and I started rhythm shooting. I believe that spot up popper 
can shoot uh you can shoot 60 to 70 percent with that easily you definitely can if you're shooting within your range and all that good stuff people will figure it out maybe i'll change my mind just not a fan of rng though and i don't think anybody's a fan of the rng because we know what's going to happen you're just going to miss shots and i think that once we accept that you're not going to be perfect and the shot every time you miss a shot you're not going to miss it because of you i think we're going to be fine up next that boy chucky he says man hey don't patch nerf don't patch nerf or buff anything in nba 2k25 shooting is not hard make people adjust everyone has formed habits bad habits in previous 2k's the game is is in a good uh state and as time goes on we will adapt it's just like my boy said uh nike said man he said people people might be doinky man out here but hey is this chicken in their stage boy so if they chicken the stage and me and gambit pretty much chicken out here i don't know it can't be that big of an issue but yeah you can't just leave people open or whatever like that hey and then your boy adam he came back and said the community is comedy dudes be begging for shooting passes because they aren't god tier at the game after one week and they self and the self-proclaimed best players are complaining about being matched against players of similar skill level spoiled brats how about stop trying for trying for a bit and relax try that and i agree with that man just gotta go out there and have fun man fellas i'm ready to get out there and do my thing man listen go out there and just have fun and be cool with it man because it's one of those things where you can't control it we understand what's going on just do your thing try to be cool and and i think i think you're gonna enjoy the game a lot more up next we got that boy wolf he says incorporate rhythm shooting into your game you don't have to use every single use every single shot exactly but when you can you should you should use it i personally use it on most catch and shoot shots slow phase and hop shots exactly uh when shooting standstills behind the screen i typically use the button unless i'm wide open exactly and that's what we say but a lot of people don't get a chance to do that because like we got a point guard and brute that's going to pass the ball and help us get open so when we get it we shoot we shooting a blast ass open shot a lot of point guards they 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 pass the ball out of necessity and then be like shoot that very few of them are going to get you open and then say hey you're going to take a wide open shot when i do this right here go off the top boom 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 you're going to be wide open like that's not going to happen so like a lot of people may not even have the ability or the opportunity to use that but uh that's that's what on wide open shots it's much better man so try to get used to that and we'll see man hey up next hey we got said how do you feel about 2k Labs saying saying that there's no pure green window and um hey my boy dime says he said i play and adapt to the game mike puts in front of me whether there's a pure green window or not i never know i never know or care exactly i find a shot i learn it i shoot it i live with the results and i think that that's really and my boy chris man that i've been rocking with chris since he was like like when he was younger like a lot of people a lot of y'all that follow me y'all probably was 14 15 16 and now you talking about 16 years later he like 35 with kids man that's crazy man beautiful wife and everything like that so like like it's it's, it's, it's lovely to see the evolution that i've been doing this almost 20 years man for real yeah in five years like 16 years and you know and people are growing up but anyway he said that's a real response right there to 1.2k only only uh one 2k is the only game I really like playing exactly. Chris, we gotta run, man. Can we get can I get some runs, Gangy Day? And then it said, two, no point in complaining when you choose to play the game. Three, just adjust and enjoy and move on. People gotta realize they're yeah, not obligated to play. Uh, just adjust and enjoy. And I agree with that right there, man. You ain't obligated to play, and that's why I think you know a lot of people probably be up out of here, you know, after uh after a little while or something like that, man. You know, it is what it is. And I, I think that's really all that we got for y'all today man a lot of people you know um i just think that a lot of people think that they, that we're entitled to make stuff now i ain't gonna lie solo we are entitled to make this right here though my boy god hey he said get up get up hey you see i hit him with the uh randolph childers you see i hit him with the get up off the floor jeff and he looked at it hold on did y'all see him look at him doinky man what? Hey. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> look at him look at him look at him watch this get it right it's like he looked at it like Randolph Childers did when he dropped Jeff McGinnis, man. He said, oh, Lord, hey, I need some milk. He looked at it and pulled up. Doinky, man. <laughs> Bro, he shot that thing out the side. Now, I ain't gonna lie. But Solo, is, he's in a good spot about it. He was just laughing like I really doinked that, man. That is absolutely insane. Uh, then we got, we got, um, we got, what's the name? Confidence. I think it was that what he said. Okay, we already said that. And then Downward says, hey, man, I'm hoping they, oh, this is what Confidence said. He says, hey, how do you feel about NBA, if NBA 2K buff shooting to the point where 85 feels like 99 uh that's what happened to me last year 
as soon as as soon as i made a higher bill they buff shooting i prefer them not to touch it because we make bills based on the current game and then that's what don said i'm hoping that they don't buff anything people will figure it out i promise everyone shouldn't be automatic i agree with that it's okay to miss great shooters will stand out exactly and the other thing is shot selection people people will opt for better shots as opposed to locks and centers confidently shooting off the dribble exactly simply because the shooting is easy I'm not interested in a non, I'm not interested in a non shot creator archetype playing like a shot creator. And last but not least, man, we got that boy Coles out there showing y'all boy how to get loose out there, boy. He got a little, got a little thing. He said, listen, man, I'm just playing the game and I'm just having fun. That's all I'm doing. Just playing the game and having fun. And like he said, what he's doing, he's mixing up the shot canceling with the other stuff, man. And I'm done. That's I think that that's a bar right there, man. Look, just figure out what you like, play the game, have fun, and go. He just said, man, I incorporated the go-to shot, hop jumpers, and rhythm rhythm shooting into my lock, ISO lock with the 79 three-pointer. Just having fun. And that's what we're gonna close it out, man. Because you just what we gotta do. You just gotta get out there, have fun and see what the results are. Everything ain't meant to be competitive. You're not meant to win every game. You're not going to win every game, man. Just play the game, let's have fun, and let's just see where it takes us, man. Let's not let the game die within a month. The more difficult the game is, the more opportunity we have to stand out to help you guys get better. Hey, and we got stuff dropping on the channel all the time to do that, man. So make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below, do all that good stuff, man. Um, love each and every last one of y'all. Let me know what y'all think. It's shooting too hard. Are y'all gonna keep trying to try it out? And I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's, people's Champ. See y'all next time. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.